Welcome. Let's start with one deep breath in and breathe out. Once again, in and on your exhale, try to extend it two to three seconds longer than the inhale. Once more, in and out. You are stuck because you've confused the content of your experience with your true nature, your true self. Our body, our brain, these are sophisticated systems designed with our survival in mind. To avoid pain, to continue on, to flourish. But humans have developed so rapidly in the past century that we are bombarded with new situations experiences, conflicts, and our programming was not designed for this. And so we must update it because our mind creates stories around our pain, around the things in life we don't want to experience. But again, here is our body creating a sophisticated system to protect itself. But do not confuse the content of your experience with your true self. Because in our peak experiences, in our most connected moments, we find in ourselves a peace, a contentment, and a love that is infinite. We experience these sublime moments in nature when we experience the birth of new life or in the lines of our favorite song, a painting or poetry or sometimes in near-death experiences we connect with this truth. And in these experiences, we find a disconnection from the content of the experiences in life, and we fall back into a conscious understanding of what exists first, in, and with all other experiences of life. The blank wall of a movie screen. This is your true self. What is shown on such a screen can change any given day, any given moment. Projected on this screen can be joy, loss, pain, peace, adventure, heartache, challenges, romance. We see it all on the screen throughout our lives. But those scenes, those images are not our true self. We are like the screen that is always present, always there behind it all. Most suffering happens when we confuse the content that's happening on the screen with our true self. This can also be understood with any phrase describing your current state. I am happy. I am sad. I am angry. When we identify with happy or angry, we believe that we are those emotions. But you are not sad. You have the feeling of sadness. You are not angry. You have the feelings of anger. 
consider the statement that I am precedes the feeling itself. The structure of the sentence gives away this truth. That your I amness precedes, transcends, and is ever present in any emotional state you find yourself in. Your emotions are information that will allow you to connect with your true self and the false stories you have about your life. So this pain is not to be avoided, but to be welcomed. Any moments of emotional pain can be a chance to connect with yourself in a deeper way. To detach from those stories that we get from societies, cultures, communities of family or friends. We can detach from those and we can see where the pain is asking us to live more aligned and more connected. So in times of pain, in times of meditation, anytime you are able to watch your reactions, watch your mind telling stories, don't seek to avoid the pain, don't cease the mind's stories, don't avoid to feel these triggers, but be curious about what they are here to reveal. And remember the I amness that you are, that connects you with every other being, connects you to the contentment, the peace, the love that we all are. Now let's take one more deep breath in and out. Take another breath in, letting yourself sink in to deeper connection. And now release the breath in a nice long exhale. Thank you for listening to this meditation. May it bring you connection, openness, and peace.